guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name's Zach, if it's your first time here. And today we're going to be talking about the BX and some snowblower mods I did ever since I put the cab on the tractor. I pulled this original tractor cab a couple months ago just to help out with the winters here and the, the blowing snow, obviously when you're snow blowing. The only problem I had is my snowblower was all manual controls, but there was no access through the cab for the hand crank. So I did a little research like many of you do across the web and uh, different people use different types of motors and actuators to control their snowblower. So this is what I came up with. So after searching through on the internet, this is the best setup I could uh, come up with for what I had available to work with. This motor is actually a power seat motor. I'm not sure exactly if it's for a certain vehicle or just a generic one. There's the tag. I bought this off Amazon, I believe it's around $40. And all I had to do to modify it was cut its threaded shaft down. Then I drilled through it and I just installed the same bolt that held the hand crank on through that shaft. And from there, I installed waterproof connectors. Put everything through wire loom, obviously, to protect it. Um, but this way, when I unhook snowblower, I'll just have these whips up at the front of the tractor and they can stay with the tractor. Snowblower will go its own way. And I can unhook it through the gear. I install a linear actuator. You see the tag info. To control my uh, chute deflection. Uh, it's pretty well same, same install. I have everything through wire loom. This is all eight gauge cable. There's a 25 amp inline fuse on each of these. So I ran them up alongside the cab. These both just hook directly back to the battery. I am going to install a, I guess a bus bar or separate fuse block just because I do have a lot of connections going on now. I wired them into these two switches. Uh, this is the best spot I could find for them. Uh, very easy switches to install. Uh, four, wire, four wires on each. And with these, uh, they're momentary. So you just, you know, they automatically go back to center. We had just two wires, uh, one to positive on the battery, one to negative, and the other two just go out to the actuators. After searching through on the internet, this is the best setup I could uh, come up with for what I had available to work with. This motor is actually a power seat motor. I'm not sure exactly if it's for a certain vehicle or just a generic one. And all I had to do to modify it was cut its threaded shaft down. And I drilled through it and I just installed the same bolt that held the hand crank on through that shaft. From there, I installed waterproof connectors, put everything through wire loom obviously, to protect it. Um, but this way, when I unhook snowblower, I'll just have these whips up at the front of the tractor and they can stay with the tractor. Snowblower will go its own way. And I can unhook it through the gear. Oh, my uh, chute deflection uh, is pretty well same install. Everything through wire loom. This is all eight gauge cable. There's a 25 amp inline fuse on each of these. So I ran them up alongside the cab. These both just hook directly back to the battery. I am going to install a, I guess a bus bar or separate fuse block just because I do have a lot of connections going on now. I wired them into these two switches. Uh, this is the best spot I could find for them. Uh, very easy switches to install. Four uh, wires on each. You just, you know, they automatically go back to center. Switches so just press in. Two inline fuses, they're 25 amp each, eight gauge wire. These two wire looms are what's going out to the front of the tractor. Show you now how these things work in action.
you like this type of build and hopefully this helped you out at least gave you some ideas leave some comments below if you have any questions any tips i know a lot of people have built these i'm sure i'm going to modify some pieces of it i'm sure something will maybe quit working at some point but we'll make it better as we go give me a big favor give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel we'll keep putting out videos like this uh, we're working on being more consistent this upcoming year and uh, we'll try to get out a video a week if possible. Sometimes it's pretty hard with my schedule. You know, it depends what projects we're working on. Actually, I will give you a action video of this setup working. But uh, lo and behold, Northern New York, and we're just before New Year's. We don't have a drop of snow. Nothing, not a bit. And uh, we're just getting rain and it's warm. It's very uh, unseasonal for this time of year, but hey, you know, I'll, I'll take it. I don't, I don't mind the the lack of snow. I'm, uh, I'm sure time will tell and we'll get to play with it when we can. But until next time, we'll see ya.